Okay, hi guys. This is my CNC controller, which I will be using with my Mark III. Um, it is now complete and we are ready to test it. Okay, together with the controller which I've put together, um, the standard screen set on Mark III looks pretty much like that. And here in the right hand corner, I don't have a spindle speed control as yet that runs from Mark III. So I've changed the screen set so that it can indicate um, some of the jog rates and a couple of the other things on the controller that we will be uh, changing. Um, for example, the uh, jog cycle, uh, jog step, jog rate plus and minus. Um, the feed rate is already on the uh, main screen of Mark III. Um, and then just other a couple of things um, that we'll look into. Okay, as we've said, this is the standard screen set on Mark III. Um, I'll be loading up the screen set that I have created to work with the um, with the controller that I've put together and I've called it the Mark controller. Let's just load that in. Okay, and there we have it. So as you can see, we've got the uh, cycle steps, we've got our jog rate, uh, we've got the jog step, and fast jog. Okay, my standard unit set is set to millimeters. Um, I've also altered the jog cycle um, steps in the general settings tab. Um, so if I were to change the jog cycle and using the button on the uh, wireless controller, um, as you can see there are, there are no cables coming out of it. That's the power switch. Um, there are no physical cables coming out of it. So, uh, right, jog cycle. And when we hit jog cycle, it changes the increments. So from one millimeter to 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.1, and 0 0.05 millimeters. Okay, now just to give a small demonstration, I'll be jogging the different axes with these buttons. Um, the A axis I haven't physically um, got attached onto this machine as yet, but it does work. Um, I'll just include um, a small snippet of the rotary axis which I've been putting together. And these are our buttons to zero the, the axis when we jog. Um, so let us check this out, right. So we push the reset on the controller. You can see the jog rate is relatively slow, so we can push the fast jog button and hold it. And that is now in fast jog mode. Or we could physically change the uh, jog rate, which is currently at 50%. So we can increase that to 90% if we wish. And as we see, it jogs. Our x-axis has moved. I'll just jog it a little bit more. And if we wish, we could zero that. And the same with the y-axis. You can see the y-axis, and we can zero the y-axis. We can then do the z-axis. And likewise, we can then zero the z-axis from the controller. Right, the next thing is the um, 
the jog stepping if we push the button as you can see I push the button the on-screen LED illuminates to indicate that I have pressed the button and if we then jog an axis it will then move according to our uh, jog cycle rate so if I were to zero the x-axis and let us set the jog cycle to one millimeter increment we select jog step the machine will move to one millimeter as it is there um, and again if we were to change the jog step from one millimeter to or the jog cycle from one millimeter to a half a millimeter and we were to jog it again it will then move a half a millimeter on the axis in the direction of choice right we'll just zero that again okay so if we wanted to have a, a jog step um, enabled uh, for zeroing a particular job and we need to, to obviously get as best accuracy as possible we could simply enable it like that so that the LED is permanently illuminated so we don't have to push and hold buttons and that simply is by pressing jog the fast jog button and jog cycle because that's what we would like it to do right I'll do that again jog cycle so that is now permanently enabled so if I were to jog without holding any of the other buttons it would then jog to the set jog cycle distance uh, we can change that again to 0.25 maybe we can zero that move it along and there we go okay just to go through some of the buttons on the controller um, I found these are the ones that I use uh, most frequently um, I'm sure more advanced users would be using um, different things but for me this pretty much does it we've got the um, cycle start so once we've loaded the g-code uh, on the main screen um, I don't have to keep looking for the mouse I can just come to the controller I can then use my buttons to jog the axis um, to the zero point of the physical job or home the machine. Um, I can zero each individual axis as we uh, need it. Um, we can obviously uh, increase or decrease the jog speed as we wanted to, uh, jog set, jog cycles, uh, fast jog. Um, the physical feed rate while the machine is running and cutting if we find it's a little bit slow we can always increase it again if we find it is running too fast we can then slow it down a bit um, I find this a very very uh, needed uh, function on on the machine um, at some times if we've made a bit of a, um, a mistake in calculating in the toolpath uh, setup um, and then obviously while we're busy doing a job we can uh, do a job hold if we need to uh, job start I didn't really find a absolute necessity for it but just for the fact that we were doing the four main buttons um, it is there and then obviously the uh, reset button um, so if something goes wrong we can use it as an emergency stop if need be um, I've also got one on the um, other part of the machine which is illuminated right so there we go we've pressed the button it's reset on screen um, if I push it in there we go emergency the external e-stop right so it is illuminated we can press that um, and we can come to our controller here we can press it and it resets so we don't need to keep looking for the uh, computer keyboard or for the mouse um, pretty much all I need is operated from here and like I say fortunately on this version I've done it is wireless so um, there's no real cabling 
I haven't exactly decided where I'll be mounting the box, if I was going to mount it in the front of the machine or underneath the external uh, monitor which will be placed next to the machine. Just thought we'd share that with you. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll try and do something like this again in the near future.